It is June, 1967. The place is the South China Sea near the coast of Vietnam. The USS Harnett County has sailed 10,000 miles from the western shore of the United States and has arrived at the Cochin River in the Mekong Delta. The war that lies ahead for these men will be on the rivers and rice paddies of this ancient land. For the next 12 months, they will launch patrol boats and armed helicopters against the enemy. They will search from the skies and patrol a thousand miles of waterways to fight the Viet Cong. This is their story. It begins here on the land, amid the lace-like structure of canal and waterway. This is the heartland of South Vietnam, the Mekong Delta. Here, where the mangrove forests stretch as far as the eye can see, where lush farms and rice paddies dot the land, the Viet Cong exercise a shadow tyranny over the people, using the age-old tactics of force and terror. These men and others like them have come here to aid this small nation caught in the midst of war. And in an age that boasts of science and technology, what they accomplish here will still depend on the courage and skill of each of them. The ship is two miles from the mouth of the Cochin River, two miles from the place her real work begins. Navigation here is dangerous. There is a possibility of running aground on the treacherous shoals and sandbars created by the mud and silt of the river. Added to this danger is the fact that the Viet Cong are entrenched in this area and up until now have roamed the waters almost at will. For the 278 men that comprise this ship, this is the last leg of a long journey. It is a lonely time. San Francisco and Seattle are far behind. The sights and sounds of a once familiar world have given way to the ominous quiet of the nearby jungle shore. First patrols leave the ship at dawn, and the men fall into the routine that will govern their lives in the months to come. Words like patrol and reconnaissance, words that were once part of their training, here on the river become part of their lives. Far below the unfamiliar stretches from horizon to horizon, Beneath them lies another world, one of uncertainty and danger. The job has begun. <laughs> 